baby Dahlia and welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see from the title we are back with the season finale for queen charlotte a bridgerton story episode six crown jewels i have no idea what to expect in this episode i feel like i wasn't left on any cliffhangers in the last episode um but like i said in the last reaction i really do feel like they gave us the alley-oop to end off on like a really high note. Now, obviously this is um, Netflix and this is, what's her name, Shonda Rhimes, Shalonda Rhimes. <laughs> so is she gonna give us our happy ending? I feel like she typically does with a little sprinkle of like bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And I mean that in like the greatest of ways, right? So I don't know, I have, no idea what to expect and this is a pretty lengthy episode so the last thing i want to do is spend a lot of time dissecting what we've concluded to thus far let's just hop right into it um and we'll discuss at the end if you like what you see in today's video make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and then drop some love down below in the comment section make sure you subscribe and then turn on post notifications that way you don't miss a new upload and then tap into the community chat that is where you're going to be able to keep up with me and what's going on with the channel all right you guys i don't think we have anything else to say let's just get right into the video this bitch i gotta learn to like not curse as much you guys it is like I'm a potty mouth. I can't help it. But whenever I'm in editing, I'm like, Fuck. <laughs> there we go. There I go on that bullshit. I have been dismissed. Dismissed? Yes, by the queen. That is not possible. It is the possible. King would not do such a thing. Yes, he would. She is delusional. It's the queen. Say she it. Did this? The queen, not she. The queen. This lady is this pretty respectful. I'm contemplating starting a new. Why, Violet okay. Bridgerton? Hurrah for you. Only contemplating. It's like they're friends, but they have kind of like a big sis relationship, which is so weird knowing what we know, okay? It's a little. But who would be the guy for Violet? Oh, I mean. <laughs> Are these from your travels? <gasps> Is she gonna find a hat? Am I getting my wish? One can find gardens in bloom in the most. <gasps> now, Agatha, you just got that shit sitting out like that. Mother Nature is sharing her secrets. Shondaland, Shondalilla, you don't let me down. You have yet to let me down. Whew. You ain't gonna say nothing. I admire the girls who be finding out information and they keep that shit tucked to like, I would have brought it up right then and there. I have no like, couth, I'm not demure. I'm not mindful. I admire you guys, I do. None of it has any significance. Without an heir, this portrait will be meaningless. A faint relic in a... Dusty storage room. That is still so hard to believe that there is no air between all of these children. I mean, we have got like a football team here. You may continue. But I need you. They are gone. You should have took a picture. It would have lasted longer. I see them. Do you know? There you go. <laughs> I do see them. One I do see one. them. They are gaslighting this man. I know that's right. See, that's what I would do with my power if I was the queen. You should have had a photographic memory, my guy. You should not have come. No, we should have. I do not want you here. You ain't got to pull this Go back to me. Buckingham House, please. We ain't going to play this game. We six episodes in. That's goddamn six months, really. We six months in, we locked in. You ain't gonna do that whole pushing me away thing and it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Never to see you, leave. George, we've seen this show before. I order you. No, no, George. Charlotte. You cannot force me away. I will not. Literally. Perhaps you stay away from me because you care for me. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you stay away because yeah. 
Love me. Yeah. She cracked the code. Now what? Now what? What are you going to do, George? And we can live our separate lives and I will have this baby alone. And I will make do and fill my days and survive. All on my own. I will do that. But first, you have to say that you do not love me. Mm -hmm. Give her the option to make a choice. Don't leave her in the f***ing dark. I will stand with you between the heavens and the earth. I will tell you where you are. Do you love me? I love you! <laughs> From the... From the moment I saw you trying to go over the wall, I have loved you desperately. I can't Damn. breathe when you are not That was love at first. That Okay. Is you and me. We can do this together. Oh my goodness. Yes, you guys can do this together. Uh, I'm wondering though, because obviously we see how George is now and he still has like these outbursts and things. So I wonder how their life like progressed from here. Hopefully we get more like cutaways since this is the um, season finale. So I do have a question and I know you guys can answer this in the comments because you guys are so hip and smart. So wouldn't the title of king after George passes go immediately to his first son? Or is the reason that they're pressing for an heir out of all of George and Charlotte's kids is that is the reason because the title is going to go to whoever produces another heir first? Like, are they waiting for that to know who they can crown as the next king after George? Because I thought it just went to the first son automatically, whether he had a son or not, I had an heir or not. I don't know if that even made sense, but. It is nice to see you, Lady Dunbeck. It is nice to see you too. I wish that we might see one another again, but I understand how busy you are. And wow. So Violet. Does Violet not remember this interaction? Maybe not. She was young. Yes. Violet, you wasn't, My you know what? I can't even fault her because she is, Violet is very like. What every lady dreams of. What I want to say. Like she's very like naive. That's the word. I called her timid last reaction. That's not the word I was looking for. It's naive. She's very naive. She's very green. So I'm not shocked that she didn't even recognize this. If that was me, I would have said, Ho, oh, what this about? Lady Dunby, it is your kindness for which I should be showing gratitude. Goodbye, Goodbye. Lord Ledger. Goodbye. Baby, this is only the beginning. So it was a one and a done thing. One and done thing. Then it don't even count for real. One and done, it don't count. I'm sorry, it does not count. You cannot be added to the roster. I don't make the rules. <laughs> the baby is well. All is well. And it is settled. I will let Parliament know he is available for an address. Of course. So obviously we have King George. He has the utmost authority. But we also have his Parliament. The Parliament. Right? And that's like the council. But what I'm wondering is why does the council have so much say, right? Shouldn't the king just be able to be like, hey, I'm cool. Like, I will take your counsel, but then after that, like, shut it down. Your baby race is cruel. Cruel? You focus on nothing else. Georgie is grieving. His daughter is dead. I am well aware. Yet you have shown him not one moment of real- Oh, so he, that's right. He had a daughter and she passed away. So she, he, okay, I get it. I'm sorry. I'm, you know. <laughs> do not know us. Oh. Any of us. She don't? You do not learn about us. You do not care for what we care for. Our happiness is not your goal. Nonsense. I don't believe that. She does want what's best. She just has an odd way of showing it. Where is it? Here. Oh. From Princess Augusta. My mother is writing me. Only because she wants some. You know that. Oh. Could have read it to us first. 
Charlotte likes that. She's like, ooh, rip it. Uh, uh. He's better. Is he not? He is better now. Right. We get that. We know that. Perhaps He's up and down. We know that. Let him be. All he needed was his wife and a routine and to get rid of that. Charlotte, I didn't realize you were so um, delusional about the situation. I thought you knew that it was going to be up and down. I thought you knew that when you moved in. Will it last? And will he stay as he is? Well, one can hope. I mean, I'm all for a couple's bath or shower, but sharing a washcloth is pretty diabolical. <laughs> I like that. Where is Reynolds today? I can't wait for that reveal. Like, I must know. It is possible. I know he ain't around unless I've missed him. But he just ain't as loyal as Brinsley was. Like, Brinsley, Brinsley is like, ugh, my right hand, my go to. A1, day one. And Reynolds is more like, what is it called? Um, he's more functionary, whereas Brinsley is fiduciary. You know? So, Brinsley goes above and beyond. Reynolds does just what he's told. There's a difference, right? I'm so glad that you met Lord Danbury, the new Lord Danbury. Mm. Did I? I know I met your son. Very handsome. Okay, we play in games. To come out during her confinement. Yes. Yes. And you want to know what we talked about? I'm not telling you unless you acknowledge our titles as your highness could not obtain yourself don't give her nothing Agatha. i believe the matter of title inheritance shall be difficult to settle i don't think so but thank you i'm sure you could give princess augusta the smallest of details pears her majesty asked for pears while she was here i will not engage with the princess i have promised the queen friendship yeah we're friends with the queen we don't need princess augusta's and approval we don't need her we can go above her head the king is ill or injured or well there is something amiss with the king coral that is gossip oh, no i'm not a person for gossip it is gossip and we love gossip there is talk that the palace is in jeopardy mm. but you are not one to gossip never i certainly cannot ask her majesty why is gossiping frowned upon how else am i supposed to find out the tea if we don't gossip, that's, you know, that's, see, we got to bring gossiping back. Now everyone's too good to gossip. And that's why people are out here, outside, in the world, being a piece of shit Because no one is gossiping about their shittiness. We need to gossip to keep people in line. And then, after we receive the gossip, we need to enact public shame. Mm-hmm. What else is going to hold people accountable? I do not understand. The king is not receiving visitors at this time. I am not a visitor. You are most welcome to return. I'm starting to have a big issue with Miss Queen Dowger. Because she seems to be forgetting her place. His crown will not survive. He has a country. Whatever. He has people. He must rule. Lord Bute is... <sighs> she is making some very valid points. George must face Parliament. He can face them, but it ain't gotta be today. It doesn't have to be today. He it's is on me. Yours. Yeah, he is. It's on me. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Okay, so Miss Queen Dowager has some points. Okay. But nonetheless, she still forgets her place. I was a yeah. most extraordinary mother. Maybe financially. I was a most sorry queen. I'm on your side, but I can tell that you weren't very nurturing to your children, which children need more than, you know, economical and environmental stability. They also need emotional stability as well. I will continue to do so until my last days. Mm. Brinsley. Have you any family? I was just thinking like, damn, is this what Brimsley wants to do for his entire life? Does he get to live a fruitful life? 
living here at the palace or like found the experience to be without too much discomfort thus far it has been lady danbury i need you to bring up life at cube the conversations that you need to be having right now about your inheritance or about your son's inheritance spending time with a friend helps you're being this too coy all. girl like i can't wonderful now i have asked the royal physician okay i you know i almost don't even feel bad for you agatha because closed mouths don't get fed queen charlotte's brother no mm. that is a surprise because i am the script <sighs> lady danbury i'm afraid you're not gonna be able to talk yourself out of this one didn't she like that. Oh, okay Very much. so she wasn't lying this was an actual thing okay i ain't mad at it i spoke to the queen's brother prince adolphus he would adolphus like i said yes adolphus i shall marry him he is german yes i shall marry him uh did i miss a chapter in between your ride from your ride home from there to here what do you mean you're gonna marry him did we agree to that <laughs> i know they you know i know they move fast but i didn't think calling upon someone automatically meant like oh we're doing it we're doing it we're doing it and we're doing it well i didn't know it meant that out of my path where is he why has he not arrived yet she cannot do this without a doctor opium she needs opium she needs opioids <laughs> no we need opium that's right we need whoever the f that is the doctor we need him see as much as i want him to go into the birthing room i fear this might send him into a spiral so i don't know if that is the smartest of decisions oh a baby he is magnificent how is her majesty taking a while to set the rest she is a champ she she had that baby and it was breached feet first that's a bad right there she and the king are quite taken with one another she hardly spares me a glance um, though i suppose with the baby she is rather overwhelmed <laughs> they ain't never with the mama where do she be in the house she hate them <laughs> I shall get the carriage. Thank you. That's our man. Now we staring at each other from across the way. That's our man. I don't care. Her Majesty is attempting to run the crown. I am sure of it. So what? What do you know? This is gonna really annoy me because it really didn't even have to come to this. Charlotte asked you, is there anything that I can do for you? Instead, I secured my son as king. I found a way to control my own fate. Okay, Cersei Lannister. That's what you're giving. I ain't mad at it. She's very blunt. Do not lose control of your fate. Agatha. Yes, this is great advice, actually. No. This is actually really good advice from woman to woman because it is very easy um, to let, like she said, your fate get away from you. It really is, especially when men get involved. Don't lose yourself. Also, I should just bring this up at the end, but y'all know I got to talk about it right now. She said that George's grandfather, who she had to remarry, was beating on George. That is why he has, that is probably what has inspired all of this anxiousness and these episodes. He was abused. He's a product of abuse. It's okay, George. Get off the ground. Jesus. Now, now, George. <laughs> George, dear, can you come out for me? 
like what i don't mean to laugh <laughs> this is just reaffirming though what i already think in my head he was abused and whenever he was probably abused when he was younger he probably hid under the bed and acted like a kid like a child it's probably you know that behavior and those traumas just bubbling up i don't know not a psychiatrist of a king of a life if what we have is half then we shall make it the very best half i love you she's very optimistic i mean she's being the perfect person the perfect answer for all of this which probably in his case makes it better and worse because that's what he wants to hear, but at the same time, now he feels even more unworthy, I'm sure. If the Crown cannot go to Parliament, we shall bring Parliament to the Crown. Mm-hmm. Perhaps it is time we opened up the doors to Buckingham House. Yeah, why did that... Why didn't we think of that in the first place? We're not using our big brains, guys. This should have been the first course of action. Would you consider returning home with me as my wife no I... she probably should this is saying without us knowing how her future is going right and we know that she doesn't need to but she probably not knowing the future she probably should have gone between us what i feel it and i believe we could be happy together only you feel it baby i don't feel nothing I don't feel nothing. I don't feel what you feel. Can they kiss? Is that allowed? They cannot. They... I thought kissing wasn't allowed <laughs> pre-wed. Do not answer me now. Okay. Think on it. See, I love a man that lets you think on it. Damn, because what I got to decide right now See, now you're pissing me off. Now I don't want to do nothing no more because you hounding it. You you pushing it. I don't like that. Adolphus, Adolphus, he's a sweet guy. He's sweet. Great. I will need one of the ones from my father's house. And um, let the cook know that I am inviting Lady Damper to tea on Friday. Ooh, not to tea. I fear that Violet is about to get in our ass, okay? About that hat she found. You did not mention it to us. The palace need not mention all news to you. I was made aware. You I, I mean, I respect what she's trying to do. Like, she is trying to keep her place on this council. This ball is his first social appearance. The king must be the king. It's not his first social appearance. You're discounting the Danbury ball, but whatever. We know you're going to do that because you're a hater. Girl, it has not been six weeks since you had that baby. You're going to be pregnant again tomorrow. Stop talking, Coral. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be down in a moment. I would go crazy if I had this many like people in my house all the time and all these servants and shit, like that are always talking, 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 asking me, do you need this? Do you need this? Do you need this? Do you need this? Like, girl, can I, what I need is a moment of silence and a moment of solitude. That's what I need. Okay. I feel like this ball is going to go well. Feel. <laughs> yeah just put your hand down your hand shaking put it down your foot tapping keep it on the ground oh they hitting that shit. Hey. 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 a lady doesn't stretch her neck like a giraffe I told you she's not yet ready to be out in society. She's more than ready. Whatever, girl. What if this is the night that Violet meets um what was his name? Edward. Well, that was but English? Was that his name? Her late husband, Edward? Or was it Edmund? 
All the whispers. He cannot even face his people. He is finished. Uh, have some hope. Be a little bit more optimistic, Lord Butte. Don't be such a negative f***ing bitch. You're the one sending us evil eye because you're thinking negatively all the f***ing time. Stop. People are looking at you. It's fine. It's fine. Keep your eyes on me. It's fine. Do not look at them. Don't look at th Yes, don't look at them. There is no one here but us. Yes. Come on, let's dance. Let's do a little... Come on. These are f***ing nobodies anyway. <laughs> I didn't have to say all that. But I'm just saying, like, you know, who the f are they to us? Aww. Lord Butte, why do you still look so f***ing angry, dude? This is a positive. Yes, clap it up. Why the f*** do you have that f***ing look on your face, dude? He is just a hater. Put him on the same boat with Dr. Monroe and get him out of here. In my province. Oh, for the best real? People, the best food. Oh, That's for real? It is. Okay. Look. He wants to have more kids. I will raise the Danby children as my own. I will care oh. for them as I do you. But I must have an heir. Perhaps two or three. Two or three? And she already has four? Whew. Uh, you're losing me, Adolphus. Adonis. This is a terrible mistake you are making. Is he gonna cry? You gonna cry and we haven't even put it on you yet. We enjoy hosting. We shall do it more often. Good. Are you gonna come in and apologize to us and um, recognize that we did a great job at getting George here? Ever wanted him to be happy. He is happy. You make him happy. Thank you for acknowledging, yes. Thank you. Yes. You're, yes, the respect we deserve. Oh, Brinsley's still dancing. So Reynolds must be dead. They actually did amazing casting for the role of younger Brinsley because it actually looks like a younger version of him. I mean, the eyebrows are like dead ass identical. That shit is crazy. Are you quite sure? Yes, your majesty. I waited for quite some time so there would be no doubt. You will have your heir, mother. So that would make him next in line because he's the one that's having a um, child. <sighs> Thank you. Aww. See? Happy endings. Woo! I suggest you shift your fear into faith. Mm -hmm. to yeah. Our concerns directly. Yes. To do otherwise would suggest we are incapable of addressing them. See, all you had to have was a little bit of faith and just ask. Arline. Charlotte. <laughs> Damn. I knew it because I knew she didn't wait this six weeks. Just fertile as hell out here. You and me. And them. Two? And them. Those? Oh, shit. not more than that. <laughs> they are cheerful. Are they not? <laughs> Come on out with the Violet. We know you know. But technically, it seemed like it was just a one time thing with her dad. It didn't seem like it was an ongoing, like, you know. So if it wasn't an ongoing thing, there's not much to talk about. There's not much to report. Standoff? Like, what we, what, what? Violet. Hmm, this isn't as aggressive as I wanted it to be. <laughs> so we ain't gonna talk about it. We just, okay, we danced around the topic and that's not as confrontational as I was hoping for, but it shall do. For now, we can come back to it later, possibly, probably. Do not hover, Brimsley. I'm quite capable of seeing him on my own. Oh, so right now we're not living in the same place with the king, I guess? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, George, turn around, please. We're here. What are you... I know you like to draw on the walls. What are you drawing? Can you share it with us? Oh, They cut his hair to look like the younger George. Come. Hide from the heavens with me. Oh, I wonder, does he ever, you know, go back to, like, his other state? Hello. Oh, he does. Okay. Thank you. Oh, how sweet. Thank you. Oh, and they're still in love. Okay, stop. I love the cutback scenes between young and older. Those are sweet. Is that it? All right, you guys, that was Queen Charlotte, Bridgerton Story, Episode 6, Crown Jewels. If I had to give this episode a rating 1 out of 10, I would immediately give it a 10. 10 out of 10. 10 stars from me. An amazing episode and an amazing way to end off this story. I just knew that we were going to have like a happy ending because what is her name? Shondala? <laughs> Shonda Rhimes, like she doesn't disappoint in that way i feel like anything that needed to be addressed i addressed throughout the reaction i know a lot of you like queen charlotte is like up here um if i had to rate like bridgerton and queen charlotte at the moment it would be season two of bridgerton queen charlotte season one of bridgerton so and I know you guys are going to kill me for saying that. I still, like, season two of Bridgerton is still so high in the, in my mind for me. Um, but this was also just so good. I might put them side by side. I might put Queen Charlotte and um, season two of Bridgerton side by side. But I know you guys are super excited because now we are going to get into season three of Bridgerton. So we'll see where that ranks. Um... I think all the episodes for that are out also. I think they release it in parts. Um, so that'll be our next reaction series. So stay tuned if that is something you would want to see. And yeah, if you like what you saw in today's video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and then drop some love down below in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you don't miss a new upload. And then tap into the community chat. That's where you're going to be able to keep up with me and what's going on with the channel. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll definitely see you in the next one.